goodness, what a day it has been. I would have never believed that it is so tiring doing absolutely nothing all day. Well, not absolutely nothing, but mostly nothing. For for most of the day, I've just spent it, spent my time in the airport. Um, and I've, you know, I've not had too much to do, to be honest. I've ate and I've walked around a lot. I know all of Terminal 1. I know everything about Terminal 1 in Narita Airport now. Um, I've walked around it many times. I've explored all the different places it has to offer. There, there was this um, very interesting place I found, which was like um, like an art gallery, but it had these fish tanks with logs in them, like really interesting shaped pieces of wood with moss growing all over them, and like sometimes rocks in them as well. And it looked like little islands. It was really clever the way it had been done. So maybe I'll put some pictures um, somewhere of those at some point, if I can remember. And feeling really tired again, to be perfectly honest. Like I said, it just really takes it out of you. Just um, sitting down and waiting and walking and then eating some food and then doing some more waiting. So what happened was I waited until it was um, about three, half three, I think. Yeah, uh, to leave the airport because I couldn't check into my hotel until 4 p.m. So um, got on the train and it was fairly quick. And then when I arrived, it was a bit windy outside and it was just about starting to rain. And uh, on, on the way here, I passed a convenience store and I thought, should I go in? And I thought, nah, I can probably just, you know, find another one. It's Japan, there's convenience stores everywhere. Um... So booked in, no, not booked in, checked in at the hotel, uh, went to my room, great. All, everything was fine. Um, and I thought, what am I going to do about dinner? Because it was almost dinner time. So I thought, I'm going to have to go to the convenience store again. Uh, looked out at the window, and it was tipping it down, which means it was you know, really raining. And not only that, it was really windy as well. So that was a typhoon. Um, so I just spent quite a while waiting trying to um, hope that the rain would die down and it didn't really Uh, so I chat you know called a few people I called my uh, wife just to update her called my parents just to update them let them know what was going on and um, still the rain didn't stop and I thought well I've got to get something to eat Uh, I noticed like downstairs in this hotel they have a vending machine and you can get like instant noodles from it and bring them back to your room and boil some water and then uh, make those. But I wanted something a bit more substantial, you know, something... I don't know, I, I mean, I feel like I've just been eating lots of junk food lately because I've just been living in hotels and uh, airports, so I wanted something a bit better. Having said that, I, <laughs> the thing I ended up buying from the um, convenience store wasn't that much better, but um, anyway... I needed to go to the, to the uh, convenience store, so I just went outside, and there were some umbrellas that you could borrow, and I thought there's no point in trying to use an umbrella in this weather, because it was just so windy. So instead, I just decided I'm going to have to make a run for it. Um, so the, luckily, the convenience store is actually pretty close. It's about, um, I'd say it's about a minute walking. If you're running, it might be about 30 seconds Um, so yeah I just ran all the way there got a bit wet um, but not too bad and um, bought some things uh, and then ran back to the room and uh, yeah came up to the hotel and that's where I am now and I've been watching the TV I've been watching the storm and the effects of the storm on different areas in Japan and uh yeah, it's caused a lot of problem for many people. Um, one thing I noticed when I checked in is that there was a sign out um, in the reception area and it said, like, um, because of the typhoon, there might be power cuts. So if you're going to have a shower or a bath or whatever, do it as soon as possible because if the power goes, they won't have any hot water. And um, it also said something like, if the power does go, you're not going to get like a proper breakfast tomorrow. You're just going to get simple breakfast. You know, one that doesn't require cooking. You know, any anything 
any heat sources because there's no electricity or anything. So maybe I don't, maybe just get cereal or, or fruit or something like that. Um, so I don't know. I'm waiting to see how the how the evening goes. I don't know if there's going to um, if this if the typhoon's going to get much worse. I don't know if there's going to be any power cuts. Um, it could be an interesting night. Um, and there's another problem I've got at the moment because my first flight I've got two flights one to one from Tokyo to uh, Amsterdam and one from Amsterdam to Birmingham. The first flight has been like automatically adjusted so that's going to be tomorrow now um at 10 p.m no at 10 a.m sorry at 10 a.m um and the next flight has not been automatically adjusted yet so i've had a look on the uh on klm's website and i can see that there's like when i arrive um in amsterdam there's one more flight um, that goes to Birmingham before that's it, before all the flights are finished for the day. So your next flight would then be the next day, um, which would mean I would have to probably stop in another hotel <laughs> in Amsterdam. And I know like in the last episode I said, like, oh, I was quite enjoying, you know, going into a hotel again. It's been a long time since I've been in a hotel. I'm not enjoying it so much anymore. <laughs> yeah, I just want to... Um, I just want to get on with my journey, and I want to get to my destination, um, not spend more time in hotels. So I'm a bit worried about that at the moment. Um, I've tried to use the website to rebook it. The website comes up with some error message saying it can't work. So yeah, still a little bit stressed, and I've got to be up pretty early tomorrow. I'm going to get up at um, 6 and just go straight out. I just need to get to the airport as soon as possible. I mean... I. I don't even know if it's if my flight's going to get cancelled again because the the typhoon is still hanging around. Sometimes the train stop running so I could get to the train station and then I can't get to the airport. It's I feel like it's not over yet. Um I'll feel a bit more relaxed when I get on the plane. Um if I get on the plane. <laughs> but then it also getting on the plane's a bit scary as well, isn't it? <laughs> because um because it's a typhoon and the, t- the plane has to take off. Uh, whilst there's a typhoon, so that's a bit scary, but um, I think that part will be okay. Oh, it's uh, It's been a long day. It, I couldn't believe, I kept looking at my, actually I didn't look at my watch that often, but when I did look at my watch, I thought, I'd, I'd look at it, and I'd think like, um, oh, it's only it's only 2pm, it feels like 6pm to me. It just felt like such a long day, and I think part of the reason is, the skies have just been dull and cloudy and grey all day, and it's made it feel really dark. So it feels like the evening um, is coming much sooner than it really is. But yeah, it has felt so long. Unbelievable. But anyway, uh, fingers crossed, this is hopefully the last of it. And the, uh, the next podcast you hear from me should be me in England saying, it's a, you know, I'm in England now. It's, um, let's just forget that ex- experience with flying and all of the, uh, delays and everything. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. I'm almost certain of it, but that's a bit worrying because I need to wake up at six. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get an early night and, um, yeah, try and try and get up at six and then see what see what tomorrow brings. I hope it's just a a straightforward, simple day. Um, I just want normality again. I just want things to be normal again. I don't want any more, like, nasty surprises. So I just need to do a bit of packing. You know, I've unpacked a few things. I've got my laptop out. I've got my mic out and everything so I can record this. Um, just need to get everything everything packed away, ready for tomorrow now, just so I can wake up and just like run out of the hotel and try and get on that early train as soon as possible. Yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that it all goes well. Okay, that is it for today's episode. Um, I'm really hoping next time I speak to you, I will be in England and feeling much more well rested, much less tired. 
Until next time, bye-bye.